So, hi, I'm Ariana. Uh, I'm a woman. And these two things are very, very important to me. Uh, when I was born, um, I was assigned male. So, people thought I was a boy, and I thought it for a very long time too. And I am transitioning, so I'm a trans woman. And like a lot of trans people, I have two names. I have my old name that I had as a boy that my parents gave me. And I have my real name, which I chose myself, which is Ariana. And a lot of us transgender people refer to the old name as a dead name. Um, because that personality is dead to us. Or like I like to say, it was never alive. Unfortunately, my government does not allow me to change my name, at least not yet. Um, so my passport has my dead name in it, and my bills contain my dead name. My credit card contains my dead name, which was great fun when I was in the US recently, and all the waiters gave back the card and said like, thank you, dead name. So don't use credit cards in the US if you're trans. Um, my job contact, uh, contract um, contains my dead name because legal reasons. So human resources at work, they know my dead name. And when I started there, my dead name showed up all over the place. It showed up in email, showed up on the company profile, etc. And that was because I was the first person at work to have a problem with this. Um, I was the first trans person that was in this state where the legal name is my dead name and my real name is a different one. So HR works to basically implement a couple of hacks in the software tradition, tradition to basically make everything uh, work all right. So unfortunately, um, as is the case with hacks, one day um, they stopped working and the stitches broke and all of a sudden my dead name was back everywhere in all its in glory. Um, so it showed up in the company email directory and if I sent an email it would also show up um, my dead name over there. And my work uses Gmail so I'm going to talk a lot about Gmail specifically. Um, which is not to bash Gmail. If my work used Outlook, it would be the same for Outlook, but it was Gmail. So Gmail is a very convenient mail tool, um, and it tries to do a lot of things for you. And all that convenience all of a sudden turned against me, and I had no way of dealing with that other than just taking it. Because people are really, really nice. Um, when people send you an email, they don't say, do this, with a big period. They say, hi, Ariana, can you please do this? So that turned into, hi, dead name, can you please do this? And if you misgender me or my dead name, use my dead name, you're basically saying like that I'm not a woman and that what I experience is not real. And it's, it's invalidating and it hurts. <clears throat> so I couldn't email people um, either because people are nice. So when they would receive an email from me, they would check who's the email from. And they would be like, oh, that's an email from that name. Hi, that name. I received your email. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> so I had a lot of anxiety over anything email. Um, I would put off responding email as much as I could. I was, was like, can I get away with waiting two days? Can I get away with three days? Um, I emailed people as little as possible because every person I would email with, I would basically be introducing myself under my dead name and I didn't want that. And Sometimes I was fortunate enough that a question could be answered by uh, one of my teammates. Um, but not all of them. So I couldn't put off answering forever. 
and this leads to all kinds of things like, oh no, they think I'm I'm a man, I'm, I'm not a man, and I don't want to introduce myself to anyone like that. Because thinking that I'm a man or such, it's, it's like saying to me that I'm just confused and you're erasing my identity because this is a core thing in me. Um, in addition to that, um, the calendar used my dead name. So when people would invite me to a meeting or I would invite them to a meeting, they would say, hi, dead name. And well, if I had a good day, I would say, well, I'm Ariana, I'm not dead name. But this didn't always work out because I didn't always have good days. I had lots of really bad days. And it's a very, very effective technique in shutting me up. Basically just putting that there. And it's, it's not welcoming. It's disrespectful to, to, to use the dead name and, and, and to, to misgender someone. So, um, so HR was working on getting everything uh, restored again and fixed, but this took a few weeks. And during these weeks, I was very, very anxious and very stressed. And I would come into work every morning and send myself an email and check the headers like, does this have the right email address or does this have the wrong email? <laughs> not even the, the right name or does it have the wrong name um but i needed to interact with people because i'm a software developer and right then i was working on a project and i needed to reach out to people and to make sure i met whatever they needed me to write and i needed to interact with other systems which i have to talk to people for so eventually things got fixed and this is when I discovered a really, really nice feature of Gmail. Um, unfortunately, it was not so nice to me. Gmail has an address book and it's made to be really, really easy to use. When you email someone, it adds them to your address book. When you receive an email uh, from someone, it adds them to your address book even if they're already in the company directory, so the mailer already knows about this person. So everybody I had interacted with during this period had my dead name in the address book. And the address book takes precedence over whatever other systems there are. So the company directory may have my real name, but your address book contains my dead name, therefore, Gmail will say, yeah, this is that name. And friendly people, you're saying like, this is the name of the person, hi, that name. So that really, really hurt. So this was about a year ago, and the, recent, the most recent email that I received that had my dead name in it was two months ago. And the first thing that happened to me when I received that email is that I basically froze. I saw the wrong name, sorry, hi, that name. And it was a question and, and I had to answer it. And I, I didn't want to, and I, I didn't want to interact with that message. And I didn't want to interact with that person because it's the wrong name and it's not their fault, but it's, it doesn't, it doesn't work for me. So I basically passed it off to my manager and said, like, you deal with this. After removing the high dead name part, because that's none of my manager's business. And dead naming is, is very, very stressful. Um, it reminds us of a period where more than 40% of us um, try to commit suicide. And it takes me back to my youth when I wanted to die. So I still worry for the next email that will detonate me. 